<clears throat> hey there girls today's makeup tutorial is about lashes and it's my favorite part I mean I really enjoy all of the parts but this is my number one favorite uh, because I think your eyes are the windows to your soul and um, your windows just aren't perfectly done or perfectly dressed until you put a curtain up and to me that's your lashes <laughs> so you can see right now I kind of look a little freakish don't I I makeup's all done but I don't have any lashes on so I'm gonna show you three different ways and some tips and tricks to get long luscious lashes okay so I'm gonna go from simplistic um, to a little bit more time and energy but it's worth it as far as I'm concerned so first and foremost the simplest most obvious way is just to use mascara so prior to using mascara I do curl my lashes so if you have straight lashes and you can see mine they're pretty straight they don't curl up they're really really light you can't see them unless you get up really close uh, I recommend you curl your lashes. So I just use a standard eyelash curler and this is my tip for you. Now, here's tip number one with an eyelash curler. You can heat your eyelash curler up with a blow dryer. Just get it warm, don't get it really hot, otherwise you'll singe your eyelashes. So heat it up and that will help, just like you're curling your hair, it will help with the curl power of your lashes. Also, when you've got your lashes, you wanna go as close to the lash line as possible once you're in their pulse, like that, pulse, 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 that will also help with the staying power of your curled lashes. Okay, hard to tell because you can't see my lashes. And let me give you a little backstory. One way of getting long luscious lashes, lashes, which I'm not going to show you, is lash extensions which are beautiful and amazing, and I used to have them. Unfortunately, I was severely allergic to the glue. So that is another way, it's a more permanent way of getting lashes done. But I'm gonna show you a non-permanent way of getting great lashes that you can do every day. So, first and foremost, the obvious is just regular mascara. Um, I used to use Lancome, I think their mascara is the bomb. I don't buy their mascara anymore, it's expensive. Um, but if I were to use just mascara, I probably would go back to that. Uh, I do, this is a drugstore brand, you guys. It's just called Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. I'm going to put that on just so you can see it. I do wear it underneath my next step, but I'm just going to show you the difference. So how, let's just go over standard how you put on mascara. You can do just top or you can do top and bottom, and I like to do both. So when you do the bottom, if you notice, if you go side to side, and of course it's always a little harder to do it on the phone that will help coat the lashes better side to side and then we do the same thing kind of swiveling it on starting as close to the lash line as possible and swivel all the way up to the tips and ends you can see I've already got it looks a little, starting to look a little bit more normal right And if you're a minimalist, this might be just all you need, right? So just swivel it on, that helps coat the lashes better. You can also do fronts and back like that to get more darkness. Swivel it on as close to the lash line as possible. Like so. Then I'm gonna do probably a second coat uh, I like my lashes to be dark, so I'm just quickly going to put on a second coat. Simple, basic, easy. And cheap. <laughs> okay. Lashes, done. So that's one way. You can see it's very minimalist, very basic, very simplistic. My number one favorite way, currently, I have two kind of favorite ways, but this is probably trumps the other one, is to wear false lashes. 
And I know it sounds a little scary for some of you and maybe just a little obnoxiously bold, but once you get used to doing it and you find a pair that you really, really love, it really is a 30 second process. So I'm gonna show you the lashes that I use and where you, I'll tell you where you can get them. I use these, which are called Red Cherry Lashes. They have like 50 different kinds and I get them on Amazon. I think I paid $11 and I got a set of three. And um, if you go, this is what I did. I went to Pinterest and I put in the name Red Cherry Lashes and I saw pictures of other people with their lashes on because they have 50 different kinds. So you can kind of get an idea of the look that you're going for when you get these lashes. You also want to make sure that you have a really good lash glue. And here's the glue that I use. It's called Callus Eyelash Glue. Let's see if you can see it there. And if you need me to take a picture of this, I can, or if you need to know the name, so you're looking it up on Amazon, just let me know. But this has got a little brush. It's not tacky, it's um, not sticky, and it goes on really well. So let's just do one eye. So this is what I'm gonna do. It's really, really fast, really easy. I reuse these lashes, okay, over and over. This is probably the fourth time um, that I'm using, reusing a lash. You just wanna make sure that you remove the glue, and I just, I just pull it off. <laughs> okay, there's probably glue remover that you can purchase as well, but I just pull it off. So, I recommend that you have a mirror that has the side that's like six times or ten times um, magnified so that it helps you see where you're going but honestly I, I, I don't even use that anymore I just use a regular mirror so I'm gonna use a regular mirror and I'm gonna show you how I put these lashes on and I just I love the look so here we go let me show you how this looks I'm just going to get my little lash out my little brush and I just paint on the glue just paint it on put a little bit more on there Again, it takes a little bit of practice in the beginning, so don't be scared. Um, but the look is just amazing. The other thing I love about these lashes is they're made with human hair, and they're really light, so they're not heavy. You don't feel like you have anything on. So you're going to go as close to the lash line as possible. I'm going to use my trusty mirror, and you just stick them on. Like that, boop, boop. And you can kind of hold it down into place for a few seconds. And you're gonna see the transformation right before your eyes. Now when you get these lashes in the mail, they're long, so you can cut them, you know, long in length this wise. You can also trim them if they're a little bit too long. Um, whoa. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I actually think I placed this one too far on the outside, so let's do that again. Look it, I'm just gonna reapply. This is a live video, people, so sometimes that happens. Okay, do you see how easy that was to reapply? Okay, so this is a little bit more dramatic, and this will be more of a nighttime look, but I really, you're going to see there's purpose in showing you this dramatic lash. Okay, it's really that simple. Okay, now, that's it. And just so you know, to remove them, you just pull them off. It's that fast. So once you have on that lash, I will sometimes go over the top of my lash line with a liquid liner, okay, just so it helps blend it to my lash line better. But I just love this look. I'm gonna show you another way of getting a um, great lash look. And that is using 3D mascara, okay? And this one in particular, there's a lot of brands out there. This one is by Unique and it's a fiber lash mascara and it comes in two different tubes. I'll show you the box so you can see what it looks like. This is the box, looks like this. You get two tubes. So this would be my, I don't know, I probably lately have been using false lashes more than I've been using this, but this is great too. So this is how you do it. It's a three-step process. First, this is gel, which acts just like regular mascara. So you just coat your lashes with the gel. You can do the tops and the bottoms, but I don't like that much drama on the bottom lashes, so I'm just gonna do the tops. Okay, you could use this alone too, so if you don't wanna buy mascara from the drugstore, the department store, this looks just like regular mascara when you put it on. 
but you want to coat it well. This is gel. Then you're going to take the next two, which is shorter, one shorter than the other, and it's dry. These are fibers. They're little hairs. Okay? I rub the top with a wand on top, and then I put it right over the top. And you can see it creates all the drama and length that you want. Can you see? <laughs> it's almost as good as my false lashes. And this is why I did the dramatic one, because I wanted you to see the impact that this mascara has. And then you always want to end with a coat of gel. Now, this is just one coat. Okay? One coat. See a little fiber fill. I want to show you the effects of two coats because it's layerable. You can go and make them as long as you want to make them because it's just darn fun. Let's separate that guy. Okay, so I'm going with coat number two and then I'm going to show you a trick. And I'm just going on the tips and the ends, okay? Just the tips and the ends to get the length that I want. It's hypoallergenic, um, safe for people who wear uh, contacts. So um, they're just tiny little fibers and they feel like eyelashes that fell into your eye. Here's a trick. If you really want long stay and curl power, you can do this with regular mascara and you can do this with this 3D mascara. Take your blow dryer and blow dry your lashes up. Just like that. You see what's happening here? <laughs> I know, this is crazy. And make sure it's on the light setting, but do you see how curled my lashes are now? And they're almost as dramatic as the false lashes. And then of course, I'm going to end with the gel. Always, always end with the gel that seals the fibers in. This mascara comes off with normal makeup remover, so you don't need anything special. It'll last you all day. It's water resistant. I work out with it, so it sweats, it stays on all day long. There you have it. So I've shown you three ways to get long, luscious lashes. The first way is, of course, using your standard mascara, which Unfortunately, it usually doesn't get the job done, so you can use false lashes, which I use the red cherry lashes, I showed you that, and the callus eye glue. Remember, there are like 50 different types of lashes you can choose from, or you can use the 3D mascara. It's just mascara, it's a three-step process, comes in two different tubes to get long, luscious lashes. I hope this helps. Please like or comment on my videos, let me know that I'm bringing some value to you in regards to learning about makeup. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks. Ciao.